towards the end of time, you will see the, the, the people, the ala, ri'asha yatatawaluna fil bunyan. He said there will be poor people who were uh, the desert people and they were poor and they were taking care of goats and, and animals and then they'll begin to build huge buildings. These are signs before your very eyes. You, we're seeing signs of our Prophet ﷺ. He told us that you will see the, the buildings of Mecca reach the mountaintops. The buildings of Mecca will reach the mountaintops. And this is happening in our lifetime. When I first went to Mecca, there were no buildings even close to the tops of the mountains of Mecca. And now it's filled with buildings that are beginning to reach the mountaintops. I was on one of the tallest mountains in Mecca, and you can see the clock tower now surpasses the mountains. The Prophet ﷺ said in, in a hadith, he said, إِذَا رَأَيْتُمْ Mecca, بُعِجَتْ كَضَائِمًا If you see Mecca, if you see its mountains with holes pierced through them, this is what it means. Bu'ijat kaza'ima. Wa yatasawa bunyanu harusa jibariha. And you see the buildings reach the, or in a riwayat ta'lu, they will actually surpass the mountaintops. And then he said, faqad avallata sa'atu. It means that the sa'a has cast its shadow. Imam Asiyuti says in this, hiya ibaratun an dunu as sa'a. It means that the, the hour is near, it's coming close. But if you took that literally, and in Hadith tradition, in Usuli tradition, Asurud Kalam al Haqiqa, that if the Prophet says something, you should always interpret it literally, unless there's a reason to go to a metaphorical interpretation. Now we have the clock tower casting a shadow over the Kaaba. So the clock tower, what do they call it in Saudi Arabia? As sa'a. Laqad awalata sa'atu. You could take it literally, the clock has cast its shadow over the Kaaba. Literally or metaphorically, iqtarabata sa'atu wan shakal.